Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. In this run, I am marrying Shane on a set seed. Using a set seed lets me predict and manipulate various RNG elements of the game, mainly for billboard quests and giant crops. The run starts with sleeping until the fifth. On the fourth, I take 23 steps. This is RNG manipulation. On this seed, taking 23 steps causes the dish of the day to be pepper poppers, a loved gift for Shane. 23 steps. Right, let's see how good my animation cancelling is today. I am playing on the new Meadowlands farm. This is to take advantage of the coop with two chickens. Could be better, but it's not bad. Alright, we go and welcome these chickens to the farm. Got the housewarming present of 252G and 252G. Thank you, come again. This run requires 750 wood, 450 for the house upgrade and 300 for the beach bridge. But the real reason for chopping the tree today is the sap, which can be sold directly to Pierre. I am using animation cancelling to use my tools faster. This is a hard coded set of keys that interrupt a tool's animation. I attempt to cancel just after the tool's action happens, but I have not warmed up for this run, so it's a bit inconsistent. Fortunately, this isn't losing me any time, as I have to wait until 9 for piers to open anyway. Uh, four, 4, thank you. I clear and till out a field. I have specific tiles to plant specific crops. 1.6 is my predicting where a fairy is going to target a lot easier, and a fairy is coming tonight. The forage in the bus stop is for more G. I will be purchasing 5 parsnips, 1 potato and 13 cauliflower. This requires 1,190 G. The starting money, combined with selling the 2 chickens, 2 daffodils, 2 dandelions and the sap from the trees brings me to just over 1,200 G. Today, the saloon trash has the dish of the day in it. The step minute last night ensures this is pepper poppers. I collect the pepper poppers and give it immediately to Shane. When the fairy event happens, the fairy spawns just off screen and flies in. Zooming in means she has less distance to travel, so the event is over faster. Alright, 5, 1, this I'll sell, 5, 1, all. Prior to 1.6, a billboard quest would be set up the first time you enter town. This meant you could meet Shane before entering town to get a quest for him on the same day. Now the quest is set up overnight, so as this is the day I meet Shane, I do not have a billboard quest today. The potatoes and cauliflower are in specific spots. The parsnips are mainly filler, but will be used for gifts. On this day in seed, the fairy will hit the second of 11 crops, counting from top to bottom left to right. It will hit this spot, which is in range of all of my crops. On the 7th I watch the Queen of Sauce. The number of cooking recipes you know affects the item chosen for an item delivery quest. I need to know an extra recipe for the item to be a daffodil. The 8th is the day of the first item delivery quest. This is the first day I notice the package left in the house. I repeatedly punch it with left click and C, but it doesn't open. This uses up most of my energy, as I will be passing out at the end of the day. I've gone too far. Okay, set up these. Oops, pick up that. I accidentally lost too much energy and have no. to eat a pasta to be able to run again. I have backups for the gift. I use the last of the cauliflower seeds to set up a giant crop. As of 1.6, the top left crop needs to be fully grown and watered. 
The rest just need to be planted. Every single cauliflower the fairy grew will become a giant crop. But I should reset. That's right, I'll finish one another day. Ah. The location of forage is consistent on a game seed, so I know that this daffodil will be here. He's crazy. He saw me swing this pickaxe like a madman and he still walked in front of me. It's not my fault. The 11th is the day of the next quest. I need more cauliflower seeds, so today I will buy them. Harvesting the potato on this spot today gives a yield of 5. The quest today is for a cauliflower. The rest will be sold for the G for 32 more seeds. I have to wait for pears to open, so I have time to chop trees for wood. I focus on oaks and pines, as I don't have space for maple seeds alongside acorns and pine cones. I've explored seeded marriage runs for a number of years. My first runs were done in 1.4 and required me to set the time on my computer to 2074 as the box to enter the game seed didn't exist. A few things brought me back to reroute this in 1.6. When not using Legacy, RNG has had a huge change. Item delivery quests used to only be possible every second day, now they can appear on any day. Where a fairy will hit is now a lot more predictable, and giant crops converting from the top left instead of the middle crop makes it a lot easier to get multiple giant crops from a single fairy. 1.6 did also bring in Stardrop Tea, but there is no fast way to get my hands on this. Being able to throw things straight from my inventory makes it a lot easier to manage my inventory. Okay, I can do one more tree. There's more wood down there, I'll grab those. All right, out we go. And that behind. I need a daffodil for the 19th, and the best day to collect one is today. I don't have the space to keep it on me, but by picking it up and throwing it on the ground, it will be waiting for me when I need it. Sweet! Okay, I think we're good. I also need this cave carrot to exist for a quest on the 25th. A little bit behind on time there, but that's okay. I will be doing a lot of passing out, and I lose 10% of current funds. So I buy back as many collie as I can to keep funds low. I do need at least 75g to buy a Joja Cola for the 22nd. I normally sell all but one potato. I keep an extra to replace the parsnip I ate. Gonna, we keep an extra potato because that's our replacement parsnip. Come in here, we're gonna buy one of those unfortunately. Alright, guess who hasn't been splitting? like at all. I head outside on the 12th to set up a couple of giant crops. One will convert tonight, but I need to water the other one tomorrow for that one to convert. Giant crops convert before crows hit, so I will stay under the 15 crop crow threshold.
pink, there's nothing. Exhaust, parsnip, chop giants. Okay, exhaust. Set up 17. The 15th is another quest day. I chop the giant crops to clear space for another. There's a parsnip. I'm going to start throwing these things on the ground in town. Tied up my inventory a bit. You, you, you. The quest is for a parsnip. Parsnip. Today is part of salmonberry season. So I use one as a light gift. That's right, we give him one of these. Gift. Talk. Postman delivery quest. X. Pickaxe murdering. Alright, we've got the RNG check coming up very soon. 16th is go out in water. It is rain. Exhaust. Today is a big RNG reset point. One of the reasons Shane is powerful as a candidate is the gifts he sends in the mail. He sends pizza and pepper poppers, both which he loves. I checked the mail today and need to receive at least one loved gift. There is a 48% chance I get this. Runs alive. The gift is for Shane's birthday tomorrow. The route can be optimised in the future by counting steps to guarantee Shane sends a gift in the mail. I checked the mail today because Shane will send a recipe in the mail tomorrow and I can't learn it yet as it will mess up my quests. Hey, daffodil today. There's the daffodil. Swap it out for the cave carrot. Parsnip, Daffodil, Parsnip, Daffodil, Talk, Parsnip, clearly clipped on that, just excuse me Shane, just walk around me if you need to, I'm swinging here, I'm swinging, Okay, 20th is exhaust, it's potato today. The 20th is Shane's birthday. One of the main criteria for my game seed is rain and a quest on this day. If it rains, Shane goes to work on the weekend. As of 1.6, rain in the valley is tied to the game seed. Gifts given on birthdays multiply the friendship gain by 8, so I re-gift the item Shane sent me yesterday. The quest is for a potato. Oh, that was clean. Pizza. Pizza and potato. Chain. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pizza. Potato. Well, they're cancelling too early all the time then. Okay, 21st is TV. Okay. 
22nd is the Joja Cola. The 22nd is the last light gift. The quest is for the Joja Cola I purchased earlier. I'll start carrying this in my inventory now. Oh, oh. oh, that feels good. Give you that and that, and then finish off X murdering over there. Can I hold down escape for this cutscene? I can. All right, 23rd is nothing, 24th is TV and water 25. So, TV. And water twenty five. Chop. It's a chop day. Okay. Mail again. Come on, I need two gifts. Minimum one right now. There's one. The twenty fifth is the last big day of the run. I will buy a bouquet, upgrade my house, and spend most of my money. I need another gift from Shane today. Otherwise, the run's dead. There's quite a few acorns up here. I'm going to go grab those. It's those I don't need. Every acorn I get is actually two wood. So I get to sell them. Okay, there's still a tour up here. One more. Off we go, cave carrot today, already in my inventory, a buy bouquet, upgrade house 2844. Today's a pizza. The quest is for the cave carrot we fished out of Emily's trash. Okay, pizza. And what was it, cave carrot? with a bit more inventory management there's not really anything else I could throw up oh. ah skip that skip 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 buy bouquet buy the bouquet all those can go buy the bouquet two eight four four 180 I can purchase 180 wood the minimum I can finish today oh, with is well. 2844 G I buy as much wood as I can 175 180 upgrade house yes 
was habt ihr? Eat out of that. Uh, hold the TV. Check the mail. Uh, sorry. I need to collect the last recipe from the mail. I keep the TV on me to make it easier to watch on Sunday. A gift from Shane in the mail on the third. It's the last RNG check. At this point we're expected to have at least 3.5 gifts out of the mail, it is expected that we get one. Summer third is the last day of the run. I need one more gift from the mail. We've had like four 26% chances in a row. Okay, seizure warning. I get a bonus pepper popper that I can eat for move speed today. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so what we do is we do some chopping first. I need 300 wood to repair the bridge to get access to the old mariner to purchase the mermaid's pendant. We eat the pepper poppers. I need to race up to the mountains. The quest today is for a grape. I have to pop into the backwoods to get one. I need to pick up this. I'm going to pick up this other one as well for extra food if I need it. We chop the 300 and we go finish the run. Get me through. I should go down more. All the wood, I need all the wood. All the wood. Give me all the wood. Okay. Dang, I need to come down here for a bit. That's annoying. Yeah. Be it actually. Yep. Because there's all these ones up here that I didn't pick up. Ten more. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Finally, we had this extra pepper poppers when we upgraded the house. Would have made that run up a lot better. Okay first. Okay first. Okay. And best friends. The gift, quest and talk today brings me to 2,504 points. Just over the 2,500 needed to propose. No, no, we don't have 5,000 G. We can't buy the Mermaid's Pendant. The money from the Crest Rewards brings me to just over the 5,000 G needed for the Mermaid's Pendant. I love that. Bonus points if, you, if it's exactly zero at the end of that. Oh, so much time left. I had some massive boosts having these paper poppers today. Marry me. After proposing, all I need to do is sleep. You set everything up for three days? I'm just going to hibernate. Okay. 
Okay, sleep, 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 and we're done. We actually get married, yes. Come on, spam through it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Eight quests, four love gifts, five light gifts, five giant crops, 750 wood, 15,000 G, one mermaid's pendant equals one wedding in 25 minutes and 50 seconds. <laughs> wow! Remember to subscribe and thanks for watching.